Okay, now this next interview, man, this stuff is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing what's coming out in the world nowadays. Now, just think if if you hate going to get these plastic fruits and vegetables at the local Safeway or whatever, you know, that doesn't taste great, and you would like to make you know plant fruits and vegetables, you know, at home but you don't want to get all dirty in the garden and stuff like that, or you live in an apartment and you have no grass to do that. Well, here's a fellow invented something. Yeah, a hydroponics. You grow it right inside your house <laughs> in water. Doesn't get your fingernails dirty. There's no dirt involved in anything. And listen to this, you control it with an app. So you could be anywhere in the world and checking your plants and controlling it with an app on your phone. And then here's the other thing. This thing that it grows in, it's like sculpture. Okay, it's beautiful. It's not something you're gonna hide in your basement or keep up in the attic or, or whatever it is. No, it's beautiful. It's a conversation piece and they'll grow beautiful vegetables and fruit right in your house. And listen to this, it's less than 200 bucks. <laughs> wow, I mean, it's a whole new way. I mean, uh, of learning about, you know, uh, our agriculture and food and where it comes from and how to grow it great and not have this funny food that we get in the get in the truck for seven days to drive it to your local Safeway or whatever. Now that's crazy. We're wasting all that energy when we can grow it right in our own home now. Uh, that's what I mean by the whole new economy. There's new things happening in this world, man. It's just, it's just going to change the way we live and make things better so we don't have to waste all that energy. And you're growing it so you don't have to waste all that money either. Do <laughs> little seeds and, and you don't even have to know how to be a farmer because an app does it all. I mean, or what a neat thing to teach kids. Teach kids about where fruits and vegetables come from. They think it comes in little Ziploc bags or something from the market. No, this is something you can grow. You can grow right at home now. And they, it's just exciting things that are happening. And this is a fellow who had an idea while he was doing his other job and inventing it, you know? <laughs> and listen to this. He got over $100,000 on the internet already. And as we're filming this, he's not even finished. Wow. I mean, this is exciting stuff. There's so many things like this happening in life that, you know, you should get it, you know, grab this thing by the tail and start enjoying life more by being on a wave of something, not when the wave has already hit the beach and the party's over. <laughs> you want to be there in the beginning of stuff, so exciting and it's fun and all things are happening around you and there's bubbles in the air. You can create those bubbles in the air for yourself. So watch how he did it. It's wonderful. Well, Javier Morales. Mo uh, what? Morales? Uh, yes, Morelias. Morelias, the... that's it. There's an I in there. Yes. Javier Morelias, uh, and the engineer techie from Spain who's going to change indoor gardening and make it a uh, hopefully, a hopefully. fresh <laughs> vegetable festival in, in every house in the world. Man, it's hopefully. just the neatest thing. I mean, you got like an indoor garden for fruits and vegetables that you can grow indoor with an app. Yeah, yes. with an app. No more dirty fingers, nothing. <laughs> super clean and super easy for everyone. Yeah, for everyone. But it's not only for the urban farmer or, uh, or whatever, it, it, it's actually for kids to learn, it's for yourself to see what a fresh tomato tastes like. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Again, you're going to solve the transportation problem. We don't have to truck tomatoes from California or wherever the hell they are, you know? uh, <laughs> or Spain even, right? Yes, hopefully we yeah. are doing our best to solve that problem, at well, least to help. And, and it's a gorgeous, I mean, it, it's, a, it's like artwork. I mean, it's a piece of art that's in your house, too. I mean, exactly, yeah. yeah. We, we have spent a lot of resources in the design. Yeah. Because, uh, as, so it's going to be a system that is going to be in your living room or at your kitchen. So we want to do something that is nice, is appealing, mm -hmm. and something that you want to show to your friends. 
Yeah. Not something that you are going to, to put in, a, in in your basement or right. whatever. No, you want to have this something nice. No, I mean, with, with you know, plants inside of it, it really looks like sculpture. Like like some famous artist, you know, made yeah. this as a piece of sculpture. You know? But actually, yeah. these are fresh fruits and vegetables that's growing in your home. And you do it all on an app. You pre-program, like the, the unit this is in, that that gives it the right temperature, the right, right water, everything, and you don't need dirt because it's hydroponic, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So why did, well, where did this idea come in? You're, you're a guy working on super trains and gave yes. up that career to work on super tomatoes in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this idea came, uh, so I was, uh, I'm from Spain, from the south of Spain, and Maria, that is one of the first producer in the world in, uh, of vegetables huh. so then I realized that okay so we're exporting like so much vegetable that is great because it's super high quality and you know mm. but they have to travel really long too long so I wanted I wanted to have like local production huh. so because it, it makes no sense to have like if they have to travel that long why don't we try to do it locally and then I found the problem. I found the community of urban farmers that, ah, that is huge. Yes. And I found the problem of the difficulties of doing it. It's like, you don't know how to do it. You don't have place. So let's make something that is compact and that something that knows how to do it. So instead of you, if, instead of you, this, the new one is going to deal with all the complexity and the, and the hard part of growing. And then you you are going to have, yes, the rewarding part that is checking your vegetables every day. <laughs> and if you do it well, and it's going to be super easy, you are going to have your reward. That ah. is the, the vegetables, your fresh yeah. vegetables, fresh tomatoes, peppers, strawberries. Yes. But I mean, also, I mean, if you have kids in the house, I mean, kids could do this so easily. I mean, I mean, it sounds like, you know, in reading the description, all I have to do is look at this, you know, <laughs> my garden once or twice or something to see, like, and the app tells me what to look for, right? Exactly. And, exactly. then, and you say, you know, is it this high or there are buds on it? And then you say yes, and then it's going to put more water or whatever the heck it needs to get to the next stage, right? right? And I don't yes. have to know that. I don't have to put a thermometer in there myself. No, <laughs> no, no, not anymore. I mean, <laughs> till now, there is some like really complex and if you let me say ugly hydroponic systems <laughs> that are so hard to 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 manage because yeah. you have like timers you have yeah, right. a timer for the watering you have a, another like timer NASA. for the lights yeah, right. you have a thermometer here and you have to check the temperature but okay you okay you can check the temperature but you don't know if that is the temperature that the, your plants want so it's <laughs> really hard to do it yeah and you've taken all that out of the process because you have algorithms on your app that then yes. sets the machine to do all this thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. So because you're an engineer and not a farmer, you are able to make it easier for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, what we have done could, so, could sound easy. So we work with, with farmers. Right. We take the knowledge from them and we uh, put that knowledge in a, in a micro controller system I and see, that's yeah. it well now uh, farmers are going to take this and they won't have to farm anymore they'll sit be watching ball games and just look in their app and the whole field will be <laughs> exactly that's the idea <laughs> <laughs> i mean that'll be just true but more importantly educating the country about real food and testing real food again that's not traveling 500 miles to get to you yeah and, yeah. and having that and then to me something this sort of like a starter set on if I really want to grow more of my own food this is expandable in, in other forms or in this form or whatever I mean it seems absolutely like, you know for 200 bucks I, I, I'm really getting into the urban farmer business and it looks like artwork yeah you know? and, and I want yeah. to know you know I could find out if I want to proceed and, and really learn about the whole thing because I think it's something that's coming. I mean, you, you've studied this certainly a lot more than me, but having fresh food, or look at all the farmer's markets, you know, then I don't have to go to the farmer's market if I, <laughs> I got yeah. my own farmer's market in my living room. That's it, yeah, yeah. We want to, we want to bring nature to, yeah. to you, you know, so it's like, I've been farming like, like 10,000 years 
So We've been now doing it's the like same yes, way. <laughs> exactly. So our change, our our life changed this last yeah. hundred years with the, when the people moved to cities, and and so we we lost that on the way. Yeah. So it's like okay, now we have technology, so we can use that technology to bring you back the change of have your your own food at home. And it feels more like a community that way if we're getting it, the same way a farmer's market does. And so you can just go to the farmer's market for the weird stuff that you can't get into your own thing. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And, and get the basics out of, out of your own uh, mm. garden. Or Actually, it's not called a garden. What do you call this? Sculpture or uh, a garden sculpture? Or, <laughs> no, because that sounds like a big piece of rock inside your garden or something. Yeah. Now, this, is, this is a real hydroponic garden that just looks terrific. I mean, it looks like a piece of you know, artwork that's going to be in your living room or, or, or whatever it is. And, and for the price, and actually getting on Kickstarter now is great because it's probably going to be more expo expensive when this thing is over, when your Kickstarter campaign is over. Right? Yeah, we're selling yeah. now like half of the retail price. Wow! So this yeah. is a 50% off now? <laughs> yeah. So your tomatoes are going to be cheaper, not only because you're even, growing them, but they're going to yes. be really cheap now. Because the system is half price of what it will be retail, so all the more reason. Not only because you'll be the first one in the neighborhood, but gosh, I mean, you, to have a deal like that and, and to see what that is. And, and actually what's interesting to me, to look at the technology, I mean, I can't, st I still don't understand how we grow stuff just out of water, you know, in hydroponics oh. that works, you know, but, but it does, I mean, obviously. And, and to have that here to watch, and that's why, your neighbors, your friends, it could be a work of art, you know, when you have people over for dinner, where do you have the tomatoes? See that piece of art over there? That's where your tomatoes are coming from, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> and children to see this, you know, and to learn more about this. I mean, they think that tomatoes come in little plastic bags, you know, that are, <laughs> you can't even get open, you know. Uh, so it's a wonderful thing you're, you're doing, and you call it the Niwa. N I W A, but your website is really getniwa.com. Yeah. So it's better to go there because that will take you to Kickstarter and it's too long to remember how to find it on Kickstarter and sometimes it's hard. So if you go to niwa.com, yeah, it's, it's not niwa, it's no, get, it's a, as, get, as, uh, get niwa, right? Get niwa, N I W A. Yeah, okay. uh, G-E-T-N-I-W-A dot com. Dot com. Okay, I'm yeah, sorry. and then you can go to our Kickstarter campaign Kickstarter, right from right. there. And then yeah. after Kickstarter, because you only have like 30 days yet, but boy, you got, you got $60,000 in a week. You know, the, yeah. <laughs> so people are, are going for this, and, and it's obviously why. I mean, it's just the uniqueness of of learning about, you know, agriculture again and learning about the food supply because that's going to be very important as our world gets bigger and bigger and transportation becomes more expensive. You study this, I don't, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what that's uh, is going to happen and, and you're solving that problem in many ways. And so thank you so much, Javier. And it's wonderful to have you here in this country thinking all this good fun stuff <laughs> tasty and fun and reasonable <laughs> yeah so get me g-e-t-n-i-w-a dot com well thank you again and good luck to you thank travels. you so much Matthew, for this time <laughs> i i have really i enjoyed with you and yes let's keep in touch and, and let's see if we can I'll talk I, I i will looking forward to talk to you again uh, and probably next time you can you can introduce me your friend or your in your right side. <laughs> How do you do? Hi. <laughs> That's a puppet I used on an infomercial. I'm trying to get yeah. some more uh, mileage out of it. Take Perfect. care. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything if you need anything else, and and I'm happy to to talk to you whenever you want. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Matthew. you so much, Matthew. Thank you so much, and see you soon. Bye bye. Bye.